Hello. So, in honor of National Women's History Month, I'm going to be talking about the upbringing and downfall of America's most notorious female serial killer, Eileen Wernos. Wernos was born in Michigan on February 19th, 1956. Her mother, Britta, was a teenage mother, and her father, Lori, was an abusive father. She had a brother named Keith that was a little older than she was. Both Lori and Britta were not very good parents to Keith and Eileen. Eileen claimed later in her life that she was sexually assaulted by both her father and her brother Keith. Although it was never proven to be true, her sexual precocity was imminent because she fell pregnant at 14. On March 23, 1971, she gave birth to a baby boy and immediately put it out for adoption. Shortly after giving birth, she ran away, and her, her father died from liver failure. After she ran away, she was quickly pulled over for a DUI and firing of a firearm from inside of a vehicle. After serving her time in jail, she moved to Florida and married Lewis Fell, who was a yacht club owner. Things seemed to be looking bright for Eileen until she, she assaulted somebody in a bar and Fell called off the wedding because of the arrest. This, in the same year that Lewis Fell died, Keith died due to esophagus cancer. In 1986, uh, Wernos meets uh, Terry Amore at a Daytona gay bar, and they started dating. They dated for four years. During the time that she was with uh, Tyria, she had her first victim, Richard Mallory. He picked up Eileen on November 30th, 1989, raped her, and then she shot him three times with a 22 pistol. She also stole her, his Cadillac, which was then found a few days later. Her second victim, David Spears, was killed on June 1st, 1990. The police found her body, found his body in Citrus, Florida, and she was and he was shot six times with the same 22 pistol. He was missing before that since May 19th. The third victim was Charles Koskiden. He was shot nine times in the back on June 6th in 1990. They found his body in the river next to where his car was. Fourth victim was Peter Sims. He was killed on June 7th, 1990, um, and the police brushed his car and they found, pit, uh, they found fingerprints of, that matched Wernos later on down the road. Her fifth victim was Eugene Burris. He was a truck di driver and he died on August 30th, 1990. Werner shot him twice and claimed that he also raped her, which was never proven to be true. The sixth victim was Dick Humphreys. He was the chief of police in Florida, and he was shot on September 11th, 1990. He was shot seven times in Mason County. And the final victim was Walter Antonio. He was a delivery driver. He was shot on November 19th, 1990, and he was shot three times in the back and one in the head. He was found missing, uh, he was reported missing by his employer earlier when he failed to make a delivery. So, uh, the police tracked Buenos to Port Orange, and they arrested her on June, January 9th, 1991. Um, then the police tracked down Terry Amore to Pittston, Pennsylvania, where they had her team up with the police and investigators to interrogate Wernos and have her confess to her crimes. Wernos confessed to six murders on January 16th, 1991, although she did not confess to, the, to one of them, which was the seventh murder. The trials began on January 14th, 1992, and on January 27th, 1992, the jury took only two hours to decide that Wernos was guilty of first-degree murder. Throughout most of 1992 and 1993, she was charged with increasing death sentences, which then tallied to six in total. In 2001, 
a woman named Arlene uh, Paul adopted Wormhouse. She said she was called by God to adopt her and try to make her life better. Although ultimately she could not because she was not granted custody. And then on October 9th, Wormhouse was executed due to uh, lethal injection. And her final words were, I'd just like to say that I'm sailing with the rock and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus June 6th, like the movie Big Mother Mothership and all. So Wernos really did not live a very good life, especially in her early childhood, which many believe to be the cause of why she turned out the way that she did. Through, though her seven victims will always be remembered, she is the most notorious serial killer that is the female sex, and she, she should not be more famous than the victims. Uh, thank you.